Scorpio. Welcome to your mid-month message. Yes, thank you guys so much for tuning in. If you are new to the channel, welcome. My name is Eric. It is so nice to meet you. And if you're returning, what's up, guys? So this is a mid-month message. Yeah, this is coming in in mid-July, but this is really a timeless reading, okay? So whenever this reading catches your attention and you watch it and it resonates for you, then that's the message for you in that moment, yeah? Uh, and it's also a general reading, so please take what resonates and leave what doesn't. All right, Scorpio. Um, well, before I go any further, make sure to check your sun, moon, and rising signs for a complete picture as to what could be going on for you in this time period. Also, uh, if you're looking for love-specific messages, check your Venus sign or maybe the Venus sign of your love interest or partner. Yeah? All right, Scorpio, let's get into this. I have your pre-shuffle here. Um, and it looks like you really need to let go of something or at least at this moment in, in time or in your process. That was a hair. <laughs> Sorry. Um, at this moment, you're either needing to let go of something or you're facing the reality of letting go of something. Okay, this is still attached to my head, so we're just going to throw it up there. <laughs> um, <clears throat> excuse me. The first card that came out for you in your pre-shuffle is the Four of Pentacles. And immediately I heard Scorpio has to let go of something. Now, here's the thing about it, Scorpio. What I feel like is happening for you is... This is the, the fact that you're holding on to something for fear of loss, for fear of missing out or whatever. I don't know. For whatever reason that it is, you're holding on to it. This could be a relationship. This could be a circumstance. This could be a mindset. This could be something that you, it, it kind of feels like it, it, it has comfort zone elements to it. Um, this could be a situation in which it's like, you know, better the devil I know than the devil I don't. So let me just stay here because I'm at least used to this. I know how to deal with this. I know how to handle this, blah, blah, blah. So I don't want to try anything new. Not that you don't want to try anything new. I don't want to say it that way. Um, of course, Scorpio, you are a fixed energy. So trying new things sometimes can be problematic. Okay, no, no shade there. No, no shade. But um, what I feel like is happening here, Scorpio, is the more that you hang on to this, the more that you hold on to this element, this situation, the more of an obstacle it becomes for you. And that's what I feel like the situation is here for you. At this moment, whatever it is that you need to let go of, you need to let go of it because it's more of a detriment. Even though, yeah, you may feel like comfortable here or you may, you may know this element or this process or this circumstance. So that makes it easier for you to deal with. That doesn't mean that it's still not hindering you. Okay. You have the four of pentacles with the eight of wands to the King of Swords, to the Hermit, and then finally the Nine of Swords. But the Nine of Swords fell out face down, apart from all of the other stuff that came out here, okay? So the Nine of Swords is representing the fear. The fear is an illusion, Scorpio. Whatever it is you're needing to let go of, King of Swords, Four of Pentacles, whatever it is you're needing to see clearly, for what it truly is or what it's truly doing to you or how it's truly affecting you in this, in your life, in your whatever. Oh shit. I forgot how I was trying to say that. <laughs> um, uh, the element of you not allowing yourself to let go is what's creating the fear. The fear is wrapped up in this situation here for you. And it's causing you to stay where you are. This is a fear of letting go or a fear of trying something new or different. And it's not something trivial like, you know, going to a new restaurant or going to going home, taking a slightly different route when you go home. No, no, it's nothing trivial like that. Okay. But it is causing you a hindrance. It's causing a hindrance for you. And you need to become self-aware. You need to go through the process of self-awareness, self-evaluation to see this obstacle clearly so that you can cut it away and gain your mm, independence is what I just heard. Okay, not the nine of pentacles, it's the eight of wands, but the eight of wands is the clear open trajectory. The eight of wands is not having any boundaries or any burdens or any blockages, okay? At the bottom of the deck in your overall energy, you do have the eight of pentacles which is saying to me that you're going to have to work for this. This is not something that's going to happen overnight, especially if you're having to go through a sense of self-awareness, uh, the hermit to the king of swords, in order to see this clearly so you can let it go. That's going to take some work, but it's also going to take some commitment. Eight of pentacles to the emperor. 
And this is commitment to yourself, commitment to do better, commitment to be better, commitment to heal, commitment to letting go, commitment towards clearing up, clearing away the obstacles, okay? All right, Scorpio, okay? Don't let the fear stop you, though. And this, I, okay, so what Spirit is saying now, this is an element of your fixed energy. Fixed energies, whether it's earth, air, fire, or water, doesn't matter. Fixed energies have difficulty changing things. And quite frankly, that makes perfect sense because it's within your nature to keep the trajectory going, to keep the plan at in play. But that can also be a detriment or it can be a hindrance because if something does need to change, it can be difficult to change that. I get it, Scorpio. But this is for your own good. 555 five, five on the counter. This is for your highest good. Yes? Okay. I'm going to uh, clear this up a little bit more and then I'm going to give this five shuffles and then we'll see what else we have for this mid-month message for you. Yes, Scorpio? Ooh, look what just popped out. The Ten of Swords. This is good, but Scorpio, you're not going to be able to reach the end of this situation until you work on letting it go. So maybe you are at the very precipice of leaving this situation or circumstance behind, but what's hindering you or what's causing the blockage is you're holding on to something, an element about it. You're holding on to a person. You're holding on to a circumstance, a situation. You're Maybe you're holding on to resentment. Who knows? But you're holding on to something, and that's keeping the situation from, from closing out, from finishing, from, from stopping. And then the hermit's at the bottom of the deck again. <clears throat> okay, at Scorpio, at this point, this has nothing to do with anyone else. This is all about you. You've got to figure out what it is you need to let go of. But it starts with figuring out why you've been holding on to it for so long. Or why you don't want to let it go. The high priestess. Trust your intuition here, okay? Trust the higher wisdom of yourself. For some of you, what the high priestess is saying is that for some of you, yourself, your higher self has been coming through, giving you the answers. But you're, but, but there's an element of being caught up in the three-dimensional mindset that's not allowing you to trust what your intuition is saying. No, I'm not taking all that. Nope, 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 not taking all that. Okay, let's, let's do this. Let's move forward. Yes, yeah, Scorpio, I'm going to give this five shuffles for you. Here we go. One. This is two. This is three. This is four. For my Scorpios, Sun, Moon, Rising, and Venus mid-month message. And this is five C's. All right, Scorpio, let's cut the deck here. Boop. All right, overall energy for you, we have, oh, damn, the King of Swords again. Yo, Scorpio, first of all, the King of Swords represents fixed energy. However, in the air sign element, which is Aquarius, maybe you're dealing with Aquarius, an Aquarius, or maybe you have Aquarius in your chart somewhere. I don't know, that doesn't matter. Because really what the King of Swords is talking about here, Scorpio, is needing to see the situation as clearly as humanly possible. As bright and clearly as possible. And you need to see it as clear and bright as day. Zero clouds, zero obstruction, zero smoke and mirrors, zero, the, and, and, and maybe in some cases, Scorpio, this King of Swords is representing needing to be honest with yourself about something, okay? Underneath the King of Swords, you do have the Ten of Pentacles, which is nice. Underneath the Ten of Pentacles, though, you have the Seven of Pentacles. And then underneath the Seven of Pentacles is Judgment. All right, so what this is saying here is, Scorpio, the only way to close out this circumstance, to end this cycle, to end this drama, is to see it for what it truly is and recognize how you may have been acting under Einstein's definition of insanity doing something the same way over and over again, expecting a different result. It's not gonna change. The more you keep going in this same direction, the same trajectory, handling something the same way or holding on to the same old thing, 
the more you're going to stay put. You're going to stay the same. And the universe, your higher self here, spirit, is calling for you to rise above this. But the only way that you can rise above this and put it to rest, Ten of Pentacles, is to see it clearly for what it truly is. King of Swords, okay? All right. <clears throat> Excuse me. Let's get into the rest of your reading here. Yes? First set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. You have mm, the Five of Pentacles, okay? Despair, doubt, fear, lacking, not feeling good enough, feeling lacking, feeling left out in the cold. But Scorpio, the thing about the Five of Pentacles, especially when it represents being left out in the cold, is that there's really only one individual that can leave you out in the cold, officially leave you out in the cold, and that is yourself. There is some sort of retribution that needs to happen or reconciliation that needs to happen. And no, it's not between you and any other person. It's between you and yourself. You, there's something about this situation It's saying to me that you need to reclaim your power. You need to reclaim your trust in yourself because you are effectively leaving yourself out in this rejected state by holding on to whatever it is you're holding on to, okay? The Five of Pentacles is coupled with Mmm, the Ace of Cups. Needing to love yourself. Loving yourself back to, he back to health, back to healing. Loving yourself unconditionally. So you guys, some, some Scorpio, somebody here is leaving themselves out in the cold because of something that's happened in the past that is not allowing you to unconditionally love yourself. And that's not something the divine or God source creator or even your higher self is putting on you. That's judgment you're putting on your own self. Coming from an egoic point of view, this literally feels like I am not worthy of being loved. I'm not worthy of being respected. I'm not worthy of being healed. I'm not worthy of anything because of what? I don't know, whatever this is for you. But in order to get yourself out of that, you've got to love. You've got to allow yourself to be loved. You've got to allow yourself to be healed. You've got to allow yourself to receive the love that the divine is constantly pouring down on you, no matter what has happened in your life, no matter what circumstances have come to pass. Okay. Second set of surrounding energies for you, Scorpio. You've got the Ten of Wands. You're carrying these burdens all because you feel you lack the worthiness to be relieved of them. Maybe that's what you're holding on to. Maybe this whole situation is hinging on the fact that you don't seem to believe that you are worthy of grace. Scorpio, I don't care what you've done and neither does spirit because ultimately God source creator, our higher self spirit, they don't judge us on right or wrong. They really don't even judge us. We are the only ones that judge ourselves, okay? And it's definitely not a circumstance where you did something bad, you're going to hell. No, it's a circumstance we, where in which we're just like, okay, well, what did you learn from it? It's not about whether it's good or bad. It's about what you learned from it. That's seeing this clearly and taking the nuggets of wisdom that you learned and planting those seeds moving forward so that you can grow something new. Ten of Pentacles. That's also what the Ten of Pentacles can represent. Graduating from one lesson to the next. It's not about what you've done, Scorpio. It's about what you've learned. I need to write that. Hold on. Let me write that down. Not what you've done, but what you learned. Okay. Yeah. It's not about what you've done, Scorpio. It's about what you've learned. You, and that's what's going to help you love yourself back to happiness, right? And then ultimately be able to release or let go of these burdens. Ten of Wands is coupled with Temperance. Scorpio, it's not about what you've done. It's what you've learned. Temperance is that grace that you deserve. Why do you deserve it? Because you're a child of the divine. Because you are a part of God's source creator. Because you are a part of the collective that is everything and everyone. Of course you deserve it. You need to allow yourself to have this grace. Because you are worthy of it. Okay? 
Your challenge here, Scorpio, <laughs> is the moon. Illusions. Illusions of grandeur. This is also kind of giving me some devilish energy, some toxic energy, but <clears throat> I think what I'm picking up on is the fact that you had that Nine of Swords energy in your, um, in your pre-shuffle. And so because there's a lot of illusionary elements around you, that's what's causing that Nine of Swords or that devilish energy to come up and wreak havoc, run amok for you. The moon is saying, excuse me, the moon is saying that things are not as things are not as they seem at all. You are you are working under an illusion here, Scorpio, and that's why you need to see as clearly as you possibly can. You cannot make conclusions under this moon energy. Instead, you need to analyze it from a conscious point of view, a balanced mental point of view, and then make your come to your conclusions. For some of you, you do kind of have to wait until some sort of phase or cycle passes before you will be able to see something clearly. So for some of you, this is, a, this is just like an extra bit of confirmation that things are not as they seem right now. So if you're trying to make any sort of decisions, not a good time. Okay, there's some sort of cycle that needs to pass, whether that be an actual moon cycle or just the cycle that you're in right now. Something has to pass first before you'll be able to see things clearly. But ultimately, the goal here is to see something as clearly as you possibly can. The moon is coupled with the five of cups. See, there you go. You're crying over spilled milk, but has the milk actually even spilled? Like, is that just an illusion? I don't know. Might want to do a little bit of investigating. Hmm? Hmm. Okay. Closing message or potential outcome for you, Scorpio. The page of wands. Beautiful. A new creative endeavor, a new creative project, re-identifying yourself. Changing the game. And you definitely re-identifying yourself if you're coming out of this loving yourself enough to come out of the five of cups, the five of pentacles and five of cups energy. No more wallowing in the pit of despair. That's what I just heard. Knight of wands. No, I'm sorry, not knight. The page. The page of wands is coupled with the star. Healing. Now, yes, this is healing that's ultimately going to lead to another form of wish fulfillment. Okay. But what we're talking about right here, right now in this situation, Scorpio, is the fact that your closing, your potential outcome is healing and such and on such a high, strong, potent level that it completely changes who you are, completely changes, not who you are, changes who you've been and changes how you show up in the world, how you align with the world. It's not changing who you are at your core because what's coming forward because of this healing is more of the truth of who you are. It's changing who you have been, whom you have been, which has not been an authentic version of you. But that's some deep ass healing right there. The star, which is major arcana, okay? But Scorpio, keep in mind, in order to do this, in order to receive this healing, in order to transform in this way, you are going to have to answer the call to see something as clearly as you possibly can, as bright as day, Scorpio, okay? All right, I'm gonna leave it there. Thank you guys so much for tuning in. I hope this was helpful for you. I love you all so very much. I hope you have a fantastic rest of your month and I look forward to connecting with you again for our next reading very, very soon, yeah? Excellent. Take care. Bye. <laughs>